What's going on guys, Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video and in today's video I got an interesting topic for you and this is something that's been going around It's something that a lot of us have been talking about. Yes, I will be doing a live commentary uh, just Trying to rape shit, you know, I mean destroy stuff. I, I gotta stop using that word a lot of people take it offensive People are gonna be like you're, you're raping people like that's wrong So I really don't want people to think that but in today's video what I'm gonna be talking about is the whole ache situation about envy and stuff like that and before I continue with this video. I just want to say I think Aix is a very good player. I think he brings a lot to the team. Obviously, you know, I've teamed with Aix a couple times. I know what, you know, how stubborn he can be, how ignorant, how annoying. But at the end of the day, you know, you got to do what you got to do, right? If you want to win, if you want to lose. Now, he isn't the best. He isn't the player he used to be. So I completely understand that. But, and, and like, in reality, I think, you know, he still brings a lot to the team. Let's get right into this video. Let's get right into this freaking video. A lot of you guys know that Havoc's been filling in for Aix. A lot of you guys know that Aix is pretty much no longer part of, you know, he's, he's no longer the leader of that team. He's no longer, like, pretty much playing. Uh, a lot of people are wondering what is happening. A lot of people are pretty confused. And I myself know most of the intel. Oh, my God. Come on. I'm getting, I'm getting a nuclear. A lot of my, uh, myself know pretty much most of the intel, but obviously I don't know everything. I'm not, I'm not his Zeus. You know, I don't know the whole story to it. But what I do have to say is this: first of all, they lost the last two league matches with Havoc. Now I believe they won a couple, and the last two matches have been pretty close from what I've heard and from what I've seen. I saw the, the elevate match, and it just sucks that you know. I mean, it's not all. You can't blame Havoc for him losing, right? It's not all Havoc's fault. Like, Havoc's not the reason why they're losing. Obviously, you know, he's been playing Havoc. I think uh, Havoc's been playing really good from what I've seen. Obviously, I haven't seen all the matches. But you can't blame Havoc. Because people are very stubborn if you think Havoc's the reason why they're losing. Now, I do believe that, you know, Aix brings a lot to the team. I do believe that Aix is a huge reason why they play good. And he keeps the team in check. Now, let's say, for example, you've been playing with the same four, core four for a while and all of a sudden you just change the player all of a sudden that is no longer your core four now it's gonna it's gonna impact the team right it's not gonna your, your team's not gonna behave the same your team isn't gonna be the same and that's just normal that's how it should be now do i think it's a smart decision i really don't think they should change that like they should have changed aches to uh, picking up havoc i don't think that was a smart decision in my opinion because they've been teaming with the same core for for a while. They've been teaming together, you know, destroying, you know, fixing their mistakes, learning with each other, and to completely just change a player with like a week before the event, or the, no, the event is not for another like two, three weeks. But to completely change a player, obviously, isn't the smartest thing. It's going to impact the team. It's going to make them play not as good. But I do personally think, obviously, uh, Aix hasn't been playing that well. I know they've been arguing a lot. And from what I heard, you know, Slasher's not happy with Aix at all. Like, Aix and Slasher are, like, fighting like crazy. They're obviously not happy at all. And that's completely understandable, right? That's that's the way it is. You know, Aix butts heads and Slasher just isn't happy with the way he's been forming and the shit that he's been saying. So, there's nothing more to it. I know J-Cap's, like, in the middle. He's, like, the middle guy, but he's probably not too happy with Aix either. And TP's probably the only one trying to keep Aix on the team. TP's probably the only guy trying to keep this whole situation afloat, a, a afloated, whatever you want to call it. So, with that being said, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really, like, I don't know, if I was in Envy's position, I wouldn't be doing what they're doing. But at the same time, you know, they're unhappy, right? They're unhappy with their player. Their player is not performing how they want to be. He's being, how they want to. He's being ignorant. He's not helping out. So, at the end of the day, I can understand. But like I said, a chemistry and teamwork is a huge thing. Aix is a leader, and in most teams, you need a leader. You need someone to lead you. You need someone to tell you what to do. You need someone to keep the team in page on page. Now, obviously, it shouldn't be like that every time, but some of the time, it is going to be like that. Oh, my God. And why the fuck did they all just spawn in front of me? I was going to get a nuclear. Ah, that was weird, but you need someone like that. You know, if your team doesn't really have a leader or even, like, two semi-leaders to complete a leader, you know, it's really good to have that. That's what helps you, like... Being on the same page is such such a huge thing, and it's so underrated, and that's what a lot of teams rely on, and that's why it's good to have a leader. It's good to uh, just the whole team be on page in general. You know, all the teams be like semi leaders. I, I don't know what you want to call it, 
But I personally think, like I said, it's dumb. But in the end of the day, you know, it's it's good for a T9. It's good for Havoc. I mean, oh, let me let me uh, lower this volume down real quick because it's pretty loud. But it's good. It's good for them, right? Because Havoc is gonna. He he's pretty much made a deal with Envy. I'm pretty sure. He, he's gonna play in at least six league matches, which gives him if he plays participates in six league matches It automatically gives him 3k pro points, which holy shit 3k pro points. I mean that pretty much guarantees his team the first or second seed and in the meantime You know, he's doing envy a favor and you know, there's a possibility like he can't like you never know what what if he's playing really good They really don't want to play with X anymore and he just he joins the team. I mean Havoc's in such a good position right now. It's ab absolutely insane. But, you know, Havoc has been grinding. Uh, you know, he's a great guy, great player. I think he brings a lot to the team, raw skill-wise, and, and a sub, and aggressive. But, I don't know. Like like I said, I mean, depending on how stuff go, like, for example, if if um, if if they don't want to play with X anymore. I mean, they lost their last two league matches. But the league matches have been close. Like, you can't argue that, right? The league matches have been close. They're, it's not like they're getting blown out. It's not like Havoc's the problem. So, in reality, I mean, they can just keep playing with Havoc. They can fix the little things. And maybe Havoc joins Envy. Or or maybe, you know, it does work out in the end of the day. Because it's not like it's going that bad. You know what I'm saying? It's not like it's, it's a huge impact. It's not like Havoc is the reason. So, it should be interesting to see what happens. I'm really, I'm really curious to see what happens in the next couple of days. You know, well, league matches won't be until next week. How many? I, I think there's only like a couple league matches left, but league matches won't be till next week. But I'm really curious to see if they're gonna keep playing with uh with havoc for league matches and what else they're gonna do, right? Like, are they gonna are they gonna keep havoc? Are they not gonna play with him? I'm really curious to see what happens. What do you guys think about the situation? Now, I really want to know your guys' opinion too. You know, I don't want it to be only me. Like, I'll give you my opinion, what I really think. But in the end of the day, like I, I made, I'm pretty sure I, I made a good point. I made a valid point to you guys. So I hope you guys uh, really took in what I said. And like I said, it's a win-win situation for Havoc. He, regardless if he stays on C9 or if he joins Envy, he's getting a mass amount of pro points, which he's going to get the first seed. He's getting recognition. He's getting, you know, and on top of that, he, there's a chance for him to join Envy. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this live comp. 52 and 2. I did not expect to play that good. Holy shit. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And this has been your boy Apathy. Hope you all have a good day and I'm out. Peace.